Welcome to another exhilarating episode of Comic Book Straight Talk. Brought to you from the secret basement inside one of America's oldest comic shops, Tulsa's own The Comic Empire. Now, true believers, open up your ear holes and get ready to have your head filled with the best comic book knowledge this galaxy can handle. That's right. It's time for another nerd overload with Comic Book Straight Talk. Welcome back to Comic Book Straight Talk. This is Dalian. Terry. Cammy. And we're going to uh, discuss the old uh, favorite Halloween stories, covers, uh, series, I guess, books. Um, before we get started on that, I do want to say that today is would have been Gary's birthday, and I just want to kind of shout out happy birthday to him up in, as he passed, since he did pass away in February, and uh, just, you know, that he's always on our thoughts and mind, so. That said, um, did you eat a ham sandwich, like you said? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, that said, uh, we're going to, like I said, talk about Halloween uh Stories that we've liked in the been in comics in the past and such. So, uh, what you got? Well, I mean, it's well, you want to start us off, I should say. Well, uh, none. Does does Kenny want to start off? Which one wants? I don't know. Kenny, do you want to start? Which one wants to start it off? I wouldn't say it's necessarily Halloween, but it's a scary story, and it's been going on here for uh, a little while now. And uh, I think it's huh? Your life? Yes, that too. I think it's uh, been a really good new newer read. And that has been the, the book I've talked about a little bit, and that's Sink. <coughs> it's got uh, just some great uh, art. Uh, the clowns in it are really scary, so if you don't like clowns, it'll definitely scare you. Uh, the stories have been really good, so... Yeah, it wouldn't yeah, be scary. Yeah, it's good. It wouldn't be scary. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. It can be scary. Yeah, they can, no. Maybe it could be scary. Yeah. What do you got? I'm talking about Sink. What do you got to talk about then? Well, no, so you're, talking you're talking about Sink. You're talking about Sink. No, Sink was good, but I, I read I read the first <coughs> six issues. We read it for book. Well, yeah. some, some of my newer, a newer horror book. It, it is a good horror. Yeah, newer. Um, for me, I always go back to the to the classic, um, and, it, and actually, it's one of my favorite stories through any genre. Is the the uh, Headless Horseman or Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and one of my favorites is the uh, the Bolton that I think Tundra did. Back in the late '80s, I think, or mid '80s, just beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, like I said, by Bo, mm -hmm. yeah, Bo Hampton. So yeah, that's really one of my favorite ones. And even in the, the Disney version of it, the animated cartoon is still, I think, a great, great story. I like the Ichabod yeah. and Mr. Toad. Yeah, Ichabod and Mr. Toad's what it's on. If you're looking like for that, the, uh, Hallmark version of uh, the Headless Horseman with the. Uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum playing, playing uh, Ichabod Crane. I can kind of see him doing that. He did a really good job of it. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's I think it's out of print now on DVD, but it's uh, worth checking out. Isn't yeah. It? It's good. It's good watch. Yeah. What about you, Kenny? Any any favorites for you? Uh, creepy, eerie, Vampirella. All the old EC stuff. All the old EC stuff, yeah. And That's just pick classic. up a random issue. It's going to have a good, yeah, a good scary, scary story. Good, good scary story, yeah. Um, some of my, one of my favorite covers is <coughs> the old uh, The Witch. I don't think it's Vampirella, but it's the, the Dave Stevens Witch cover, where she's around the pumpkins. Oh, that was the seduction of the yeah, innocent. Like, yeah, 3D, the, yes, think. yes, yeah. that's always been one of my favorite covers. Um, we also did the uh, that was it House of, House of Mystery, I believe, with with um, what's your face on the cover of it? Elvira. Elvira, Elvira yeah. yeah, you did an Elvira cover too. That's true. I mean, like, like Kim was saying, you need nice. the old creepies and eeries and. Yeah, I'm the same. Uh, I mean, and same with the House of Mystery, House of Secrets. Right, when I was a kid, I was always picking up House of Mysteries mm -hmm. and House of Secrets. I mean, there was always some good story and good art in those. Yeah. So you really can't go wrong with any of those. Mm -mm. And you can, they did have some collections of those, of House of Mystery and House of Secrets. Yeah. Uh, they were black and white, I believe. I don't think they've ever reproduced a collection of they color had or not. omnibuses. I think they were going to do some omnibuses, I think. Yeah. I remember the uh, black and white uh, issues. Of the well, and out. you had great art in that, too. Yeah. A lot of them. Um Ronaldo did art, or yeah, Ronaldo, Wrightson, Klug, Kaluda. 
you know, like the, the, the classics are the Tomb of Dracula and Werewolf by Night are mm -hmm. always great reads. Yeah. Uh, some of the Tomb of Dracula issues and Werewolf by Nights are getting a little pricey now, right. especially the first appearance of uh, Blade and uh, Tomb of Dracula number one's not cheap, and yeah. the first appearance of Werewolf by Night and uh, even the second appearance of Blade's getting up there, so yeah. it's still affordable. But and then if you want to collect Werewolf by Night, then you, that issue thirty-two with the first issue of Moon Knight's a little expensive. Worthless so. character. <laughs> Um, modern wise, though, uh, sil one of a single favorite issue is uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night from Sin City. I think it's probably more of a, I don't know, a Christmas one, but still, it's still a good one though. But I always like that uh, that run of that uh, Fatal was a really good horror noir. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's kind of story. The Brubaker and Phillips that. series. Yeah. That's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. And there was um the first storyline, the first story arc of Harrow County. Oh yeah, right. Harrow County, County with the Colin Bun. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. uh, there's a I can't remember how many issues it was. The short is called Undying Love, where this uh, guy I think he was a Marine or something like that, and this girl that he loves, she's uh, Chinese I believe, and she is uh, bitten and, and turned into a vampire, and he has to track him down to kill that one vampire to release her really good really good Interesting. short little series um, I think one of the one of the modern uh, books obviously Long Halloween is such a, is, is a good classic uh, but it goes through the whole year um, but the Haunted Night stuff the Haunted uh, Batman specials that uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Cell did a lot of those have been are really good little horror done in one kind of stories yeah, like Long Halloween was also very good as well. He just mentioned that. <laughs> he doesn't. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you, you're just, you didn't say specifically Long Halloween, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. Okay. He said it went through the whole year. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. With this, with the uh, the, the uh, with different seasons, but different yeah. seasons, serial killer that sort of brought the calendar man kind of. But it starts on Halloween. But right. It, it ends on Halloween. Mm -hmm. It kind of brings calendar man back to his forefront and doesn't make him silly anymore and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. What you got? Uh, just you another got? one I always read. The uh, Heads. Remember the Hellboy story with the... He was in Japan and the there were the seven yes. floating heads. Yes. I always liked that one. Mm -hmm. Hellboy's real good for uh, horror and Halloween stories. I'm surprised they haven't done one this year. Yeah, don't they normally put I something thought, out? I thought they normally do, but... I know they do a winter special, but... Um, what were you going to say? Uh, one I always uh, recommend is called Echoes. That was a, a combination sort of Top Cow Minotaur release, mm -hmm. and I think that's just an excellent. I think it's a six issue miniseries. Um, just really good, good story. Uh, Afterlife with Archie. It's a really. I, mean, I I'm not a bam, I'm not a vampire. I'm not a zombie fan, but that's that that that's a good series. It would make it be a really good like animated. Thing uh, like an animated special, they could do it, but of yeah. course, Batman they could probably do an episode of Riverdale. That's yeah. true, and they might. Batman's Gotham by Gaslight, Elseworlds, yeah. just one shot, him fighting the Ripper and stuff. It's yeah. a great storyline. The Doom that came to Gotham. Yeah, yeah, fighting, that's yeah, fighting Very good. Cthulhu. That's a three issue, but you can't get it collected now. Three issues themselves are kind of hard to find. Right, a little, a little pricey. But the collective's not too bad, mm -hmm. price-wise. Uh, newer stuff, Lock and Key, the Joe Hill mm -hmm. story, really good. The there are some good stories in the Grimm's Tales of Terror yes. too. Mm -hmm. And we just and yeah, you have Karis, which is like the goddess of death, and she basically sets people up, is what she does. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of books that you can also just go and find in your dollar bins and quarter shelves that are have some good stories in them, and that's those old gold keys, Boris Karloff, and uh, Haunted This and Haunted That, just a bunch of titles by Gold Key they were put out that you can usually find really cheap. And Ghosts from D.C., yeah. you can DC. usually find those Witching pretty hour. cheap. Witching Hour. Witching Hour. Well, yeah. Witching Hour maybe not real cheap, but the latter ones you can, yeah. maybe not the early ones, though, but... Right. Um, talking about the Cinescope, they at least put out a holiday special every year. And, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, 
And actually, they actually do. They just finished up several um, horror related, or stops finished up a horror related steer, uh, steer, series in The Watcher, and they started that new one, uh, Three Bridges Road, or Three Bridges, no, it's, Three Bridges um, County, or something like that. Bridge Water Bridge Triangle. Bridge Water Triangle, yeah. Which is Karis, the goddess of death. Yes. Setting people up. Yes. Which is what she does. Yep. She tries to warn them. They don't listen to the warning. And no. She makes them pay. Yeah. That first issue, she does. So. There's a but, book that recently came out that only, I think, did two issues. Maybe three, I can't remember. And then they're re-releasing it. And I, and I read the one or two issues of it, uh, and I'm really interested to see if they ever continue the story, because I thought it was pretty good, and that was called Teether. Was that the one about the the bum? No, this is the one about the little girl, uh, well, these kids go out in the woods, and there's supposedly a monster out there, and they're going to go see, is there really a monster out there? And then it turns out to be a monster, and most of the kids get away, but this one little girl, she gets ate, or killed or whatever oh, and then yes. she shows back up in school the next day oh, and she goes after those other kids or this mm -hmm. monster does um, the one about the bum is you're probably thinking of um, oh what was that called oh man I'm drawing a blank now you always do when it comes to that story <laughs> yeah it's, it's a really good story um, but uh, yeah it's it's uh, about these kids and they're uh, uh, off on the train or something it's been a really long time since I've read it Dang, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on it. But there's this this guy who's kills the kids, and uh, I think he maybe it helps him live or something like that. Dang, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on that one. Then I'll, if I'll remember it, I'll <laughs> tell you later. <laughs> Golly. Um, Spectre's had some pretty cool covers. Um, a lot, a lot of the better covers for them though were obviously the the weird weird adventure tales with Spectre. But when they relaunched the series in the 90s, I think they did like a Headless Horseman cover uh, on it to glow in the dark. And But they did some pretty pretty creepy covers on that. That was actually a good series too. So. Freaks is that out. the one that Ostrander did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Tom Mandrake doing the art. And it was just, it was dark and moody. And I mean, it was, it was, it, it harkened back to like the old Golden Age. Uh, Spectre well, stories. speaking of Tom Mandrake, that I mentioned it before, but that Captain Kronos four issue miniseries. Mm -hmm. It was called Severed. Yeah. Scott Snyder book. Severed. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember exactly how many issues it was, but yeah, that was really really good. Well, and Boom's got that new one that's everyone's talking about. Uh, something's killing the kids. Yeah, I haven't I've been able to have time to check that out yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me neither. There's always a they've got a Stranger Things comic book out. Has anybody read any of that? Is it any good? Is it compared to the the show? She's over there. You been reading a Stranger Things comic? Is it good? Yeah. Scary? No. No, it's just good though. Good read. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Man, you got like four words out of. I know. I know. I four <laughs> words. And it wasn't about K-pop. Right. <laughs> yeah. If it was about K-pop, we'd be here for another three hours. <laughs> <laughs> There's always Walking Dead, of course. So, I mean, it's ended now, so yeah. if you want to actually read it and complete it, uh, you can do that. Yeah, and they had the Eye Vampire series from DC um, in in House of Secrets or Mystery. Which one do you put in? A uh, House of Mystery. House of Mystery. Yeah, that's been collected too. Actually, yes, it's been collected. So. They've. Uh, it's a pretty nice little collection too, mm -hmm. with uh, and all, all that great clue to covers and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely great. Mm -hmm. Got anything else? Always like uh, picking up when I can find them. They've actually started really uh, gaining popularity and and definitely getting pricier now. Was the uh, Skywald stuff? You know, the Psycho mm -hmm. and and uh, all their their different titles. They were kind of you know the the. the Stepchild to the Creepies and Eerie, sort of. Yeah. But uh, they had great covers and great stories, great artists as well. Things like the lesser Stepchild. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. But 
Right. They seem to be picking up steam nowadays. Maybe that's because, well, I don't know. The 70s magazines. Yeah, the 70s magazines. Yeah, horror Frank magazines. Darkness. The old vampire tales are picked up, yeah. I don't know if you'd consider it a horror story, but the Conan Red Nails oh, yeah. was always really good. Mm-hmm. And the first Jose Gonzalez Vampirella story in Vampirella number 12 was called Death's Dark Angel. Mm-hmm. That's a really good story. They always did some pretty good stuff with her. Um, that you could consider, yeah, horror. So, um, lots of weird origins with her, but I mean, but still, I mean, I, I always enjoyed their. I can't remember what series it was in, but there is a, a series where Johnny Peril is in it, uh, in one of the horror magazines, and uh, he's going up against this, uh, like, uh, horror star cult or something like that. It has his star symbol, and. Um, it ran probably about, I don't know, six issues or something as a backup story. Mm-hmm. And it was really good, a little storyline. Hmm. I was like the Doctor Occult. Like, they'll back up stories in different books. They'll put, back in the 70s, they would throw him in like, and throw him in like a, like a backup story somewhere. And then uh, Doctor 13, the guy that was always trying to, to uh, debunk the supernatural stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was also in that uh, series that... Uh, Really doesn't get much attention. You can always find it in the dollar bin. Oh, what was that called? Uh, is it a nightmare know. or something like that? Or it Maybe. ran for like about twelve to thirteen issues. And oh, I mean the like the what like the doorway to nightmare that he had. Up that here. was Madame Xanadu. That was Madame Xanadu. No, no, not that. When, when didn't they do a doorway to nightmare? Madame Xanadu. Madame Xanadu. Was okay, first yeah. appeared yeah, in okay. doorway to nightmare. Okay. This, there was a team of of you know cultists fighting and stuff and. I want to say Doctor, the Doctor was in there. Something like Night that. Force? Shadow. Night Force, yeah. Mm-hmm. Night Force, no, that's it. Nightmare and Night Force. Yeah, it was Night fighting, Force. Fighting Dracula? I don't think they were just they were or fighting Dracula. They were just fighting the ne- the ne- the vampire. supernatural events. It's been so, so long since I've read that. Jeez. <laughs> wow, yeah. That, that, yeah, I'm, that one you can definitely find in the dollar bin still. What was the Batman series where they turned him into a vampire? Oh, uh, Red Rain. Red, Red Rain. Red Rain. Red Rain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did like three of those, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And they, they did them in hardback and soft cover, and came. I don't think yeah. they ever collected all of them together, but you can get. Well, they've just recently re- uh, the the villain Secrets of Sinister House special they've done, they released a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Has a new Red Rain Batman vampire story in it too. So. Some great Kelly Jones art in that book too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that little eight page Batman story from the cavalcade of cursed comics. Oh, yeah. That cursed was, comics mm-hmm. cavalcade. Yeah, cursed yeah. comics cavalcade, yeah. And that had that little eight page Batman story I thought was really good. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Definitely. They actually have some pretty good stories in that one. They had a Madame Zana. No, no. Zatanna, Zatanna story. Yeah. Yeah, I did like. like we're talking about uh, Madame Xanadu and those doorways of nightmare were just beautiful as well because mm-hmm. this awesome Kaluta covers. So right, I always pick those up when those I can see them. Kaluta inside too, and wasn't it? inside, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. And then they continue on later on um, in little smaller sections of uh, of the uh, unexpected. Unexpected, yeah. That's another but you got to go and pick too, those up. So. Yeah, unexpected. Yeah, That's a good series. Yeah. And if you're a war fan, you had the haunted tank, you know, which was weird, weird, weird war. Weird, well, yeah, but yeah, there's always. But I'm saying, yeah, weird war. And, yeah. What was the? There was there was another character that had like he had been hanged and had the noose around his neck. The hangman. Wasn't gentleman what ghost like that? Did I know gentleman ghost? Did wasn't he? No, he was in the war books. Because he was, he had like a, like a black hood over his head, like, and then. Well, I know they. I don't know. I, the, I don't know. Seemed like it was in an enemy A story or there, something. There was a general who was a ghost, and, and of course there was the haunted tank itself, and um, I don't know. 
I kind of see. I kind of remember what you're saying, but I can't formulate it yeah. all. Well, I know they did. I know they did the hang. But maybe, maybe it's a red circle character I'm thinking of that was the the hangman. The hangman. It may have been him. I don't know. I don't know. Was he ever in an enemy A story? Uh, that I don't know. Because it seems like I saw it in an in, in a enemy A book. And those reissues that they were doing there for a long time of all the old Golden Age uh, horror books was really good. Mm -hmm. The Haunted Horror. The Haunted Horror and a couple of other think, titles, offshoots of that. Really good. And I think they've stopped now, but those were really well done and the paper was those really were nice. Craig Yeo? Yeah. Yes, the Craig Yeo yeah. stuff. And I, I'm, I'm guessing they're probably still doing like collections. He's got tons of collections he's put mm -hmm. out. So Yeah, uh, but now they're soft covers. Yeah. yeah. He did. He was he quit doing, doing the hard covers. Yeah, and, and there was the one he did with the zombie uh, storylines, and it had the sort of bite taken out of the hard cover, which was mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he does particular artists, and he'll he'll do some of their stuff in, in a collection, which is really cool. So all of that stuff is good, especially since you can't afford any golden age horror nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, if you do, it's very low grade. You're lucky you can get it. So. Yeah, you're just lucky to get what you can get with Golden Age Horror nowadays. Yeah. So Unless you really save up and spend some money. Yep. But that's kind of the way any Golden Age book is nowadays. <laughs> and has been for a while, really. Yeah, even the Archies are getting where you <laughs> yeah. can't afford Yeah, them. you can't afford Archies anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one thing. Archie always did like a, a holiday specials every, every year, I remember, so... In fact, they've got one getting ready to come out um, next week, I think. The Betty and Veronica. Supernatural yeah. or something. And I guess for uh, maybe, I don't know about the newer one, but uh, used to, you know, you could get, you, for uh, younger kids, you could always get Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. You know, they're always fighting ghosts and yeah. other villains and stuff like that. Now you can get Spook House by Eric Powell. Yeah. Right, yeah. And those Spook things House. are a riot. And then you like, you've always, I don't know if, would you consider that horror goon being horror or kind of horror-ish? It has kinda horror elements. elements. Yeah. 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 It's got zombies. It's got, you know... Witches. Witches and ghosts and yeah. giant spider guy and... Giant spider guy. Giant and, 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 and I think fought, his name is Satan. Spider. <laughs> that, the hillbilly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the hillbilly. Yeah. That that one he did was the three issues of the buzzard. I thought was it's been a while since I came out. I've always thought that was really good. Okay. I I can't think of any more horror books really. I mean, I kind of went through a, a list that I've had. There's, yeah. there's just I mean that's just some that's just like the tip of the ice ice berg berg yeah. So you just need to get out there and. Me, yeah. You can read some of these we've mentioned, or just you know find some that you've been wanting to read. I mean, it's, there's so much stuff out there. There's a really good story by Bruce Jones and Bernie Wrightson called Jennifer. That's really good. What was that in? What was it was in? I believe it was in Creepy, but I don't remember which issue. What I know it's in the the Wrights and hardcover that Dark Horse put out. Okay. The creepy comics of. Bernie Wrightson or yeah. whatever they called it. Creepy Presents Bernie Wrightson. And they also did the, uh, well, obviously Creep Show based on the TV show. Well, mm -hmm. not TV show, but movie, which, or the TV show, or the movie was based on it, one of the two, I'm not Speaking sure. Speaking of Bernie, he did the, the cult with the Batman in it. Yeah. I don't know if I consider that one superhero, or uh, yeah. horror. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's got the elements. It, it's got elements. That's true. That's and, true. It's, and Bernie Wrightson is doing it. And, he, and he's not. He's doing a little bit different art style in that one too. So it's kind of interesting. It is a different art style. I didn't really care for it. Well, you're just wrong. <laughs> it's not his normal style. Like it's, it's a different not, art it style. It's not. So. But you're wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. Yes. That's, that's your, all right. I'm. I, I, I'm used to being wrong. That's you, your so. opinion. <laughs> it's wrong. And I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't it the same style he used in POV? I think so. I think so yeah. The Punisher. Yes. Yeah. Because those are the two that, when people are looking for rights and then they see those, they kind of just pass them up. And, and we can't forget the greatest horror, though, that rights and did was the, the Punisher Wolverine. Or maybe it was just Punisher when 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 he did that. It was 
it was Punisher when took was taking on the supernatural things, you know. But Wrightson did. Wrightson did a lot of stuff. It's I mean, it was did bad. some. Uh, <laughs> I picked up uh, some like little uh, children's golden age. Not they're not golden age, but they're like the golden books. Yeah, golden books or Fisher Price books or mm-hmm. something like that. One of them was like Treasure Island or something like that, and he did the art on the cover of that. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, I found those at a uh, at a um, pawn shop thrift store, and thrift I was like, store. I looked at it, and I was like, it says Wrightson. Hmm. And it's a little bit different than his typical art style as well, but I was like, it was his signature. So. Yeah, I think good. Wrightson's greatest is probably the Frankenstein. The Frankenstein, yeah. That's, yes. Everybody, I think, considers that the greatest. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. If you've never read Frankenstein, you just sit there and just look at the art and not even read the story. And also yeah. from Hell, we talked uh, we talked about the Ripper. That's from true. Hell is just yeah. really good, and the art's beautiful in it. I like the art in it. You don't like it? From Hell, the yeah. Alan Moore from yeah. Hell. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. art was horrible. Oh. Eddie Campbell's a horrible artist, man. <laughs> I liked it. And I would say Alan Moore's a horrible it's writer. It's worse but... than Cobra. <laughs> That's a recent book that we reviewed. Actually, yes, I would say it is worse than art. You think it's worse, worse than, than, than Coker? No, yeah. Man, no. But they've been they've been going back and recoloring it and re-releasing it in color. They have re-released that book so many times. They're re-releasing it in silver or in, uh, single issues, and actually, the, the coloring on it looks makes it look better. Actually, so I don't know. I don't know if the color makes it look better or not. Yeah, I'm telling you, the color looks better. Yeah, but you remember your opinion, draw. So are yours. <laughs> All right. Um, so, anything else you what? You said you, you asked if I watched Nancy Drew. Is it? Yeah, Nancy Drew is really good. Is it kind of like Veronica Mars? It's Veronica Mars with a ghost. With a ghost. See, and that feeds into the the haunting. See, there we go. So, any what? Uh, any any other character likes you? Nancy Drew too? Or animated? Any horror animated that you'd recommend? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Garfield's yeah. Halloween. Garfield's Halloween, yeah. We're two episodes down of the last season of Supernatural. <laughs> it's almost over. Well, what season is it? it? 15. Season 15. You would think if they were going to stop, they should stop at season 13. Yeah, because I yeah. think that was the season they hit 500 episodes mm-hmm. or 300. 300 episodes. And it's also 13. The number yeah. 13. So now they got to 15, they got to keep going until they get to a, another substantial number or something. That, that What is another substantial number? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, 23? Their substantial no, number is uh, season 15. Mm-hmm. You know, now they have to get to do that. They have to do 666 episodes. God, no. <laughs> 666. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of funny. Let me do one another year. No. Two years? I can't remember if they hit 500 episodes or 300. It seems like 500. It seems like a thousand. <laughs> so, well, that's now, all I got. This kind of this season goes back, kind of throws them back. They go in the past or something. No. Or it kind of harkens back to the old. I mean, no. Uh, God turned against them, or they turned against God, or they turned against each other, and. Basically, God has started the apocalypse. Again? Yes. Do we have the apocalypse all of happening the, again? Like, all of the creatures that they've killed, all the ghosts and everything, mm-hmm. are now back on Earth. They've escaped from hell. Oh, great. So, so it kind of has started over then. <laughs> I guess it's just the ghosts, though. I mm. guess yeah. the the demons and stuff that they killed aren't ah, okay. aren't yeah. back. It's just the ghosts. Wow. Okay. That's yeah, it was it was three hundred episodes. Three hundred. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there'd be another thirty episode, thirty seasons, another fifteen another, season, another fifteen, sixteen seasons. Yeah. Then it'd be like like a uh, Law and Order, right? Uh, they'd have to introduce their kids into it, and yeah. let the, the kids take over. And <laughs> they're they're walking around with canes. Oh, yes, <laughs> or the wizened, you know, just giving them advice, telling them what to do. Well, I saw that one of them, uh, Sam, has been ta- is rumored to be playing uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. 
in the in the uh, reboot oh, a bit. God. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you just get Chuck Norris to come back and do it? He ain't, it's, I mean. <laughs> Chuck Norris is like 75 years old. He could still be on it, you know. He'd probably still kick all of our asses. Probably. probably. So, all right. Well, let us know your favorite horror um, comics, covers, stories. He'd make a better renegade. Yeah, he would. Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> all right. Um, like. Subscribe, ring the bell. Like, subscribe, right? ring the bell. Yep. <laughs> invite your friends. And yes, invite your friends. Um, com- leave comments on our uh, YouTube or Facebook and let us know, like I said, your stories that you like, uh, horror stories and yeah. such. Like I said, since there's just a tip of the iceberg, I mean, there's definitely, they might mention something I definitely want to check out. So. Yeah. So, all right. Well, this is Dalian. Terry. Kelly. Carrington. <laughs> Bye.